for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Now previously I mentioned that we can actually entertain angels without knowing it. Now you'd think this was impossible, but it's not, because an angel often appears in familiar guise, such as a loved one or an acquaintance. A man can be described as an angel, Moses was, and the angels over the seven churches are believed to be the chief elders of those churches, and some translators choose this word, elders, over angels. And so here we find that there could also be a practical application of this wonderful verse. We love it that we can be recipients of angelic protection. But think of the task of an angel. What is the job of an angel? What is his function? It's to worship, to glorify and to serve God and to, to bring him glory and praise here. What's our function? It's to worship, glorify and to serve God and bring him praise in this world, to bring heaven to earth as it were, That's, which is what the angels do. So it's fascinating, you know. We can never become angels, of course, and who would want to? We're men, hallelujah, we're human beings, saved by the grace of God. Angels long to look into these things. But it's interesting that we can fulfil the function, the role of an angel, through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us. This is a fascinating subject. We'll look further tomorrow.